So if you know anything about me, you probably know that I love a little horse. It's kind of one of those facts about myself that I've just grown to accept that one day I will be in a nursing home and I will be reminiscing about Technicolored ponies. I also love dragons, so naturally, I've turned the ponies into dragons. But first, two quick things. I've just launched my first online store and the designs that you see in this video will be up on there as keychains. I'm very excited to expand the store as the year goes on. Uh, I'm thinking about doing stickers and pins. And speaking of stickers, if you've got $8 a month, consider joining my sticker club. January's design is Foxy of Five Nights at Freddy's. But if $8 is out of your range, you'll be happy to know that $5 and up tiers on my Patreon receive a 10% discount on one item per month in my store. Anyways, back to dragons. I grew up loving Spyro because honestly, who wouldn't love a cute little cartoon dragon? Like, come on. More specifically, I was just old enough to get interested in the Legend of Spyro series, which was the 2000s edgy reboot <laughs> of, uh, you know, 90s radical, uh, cool characters. So uh, Spyro's this little skateboarding dude gets a, an overhaul where now he's in a, a Lord of the Rings type of story where, oh my god, he's the chosen one. He's got purple scales. No other dragon is purple. He gets to control all the elements. <laughs> they also introduced an edgy goth girl dragon, Cinder. She's a fave. I love Cinder. Then they made Skylanders and they ruined it, so ew. But at least we got to keep Cinder. I don't know why they gave her little boobies though, that was weird. So to be extra self-indulgent, I was like, okay, I'm gonna turn the main six into Spyro characters. <laughs> So I got to do a little nostalgia trip with this one. Who doesn't love living in the past? I know I do. So I went the extra mile and really just wanted to try and imagine these characters in that world. So something to know about the Legend of Spyro is that there is an elements system. And by system, I mean there are like four of them. <laughs> uh, dragons in that world are born with either fire, wind, no, fire, ice, electricity or earth yes this was also a fun challenge because like trying to keep in the style of spyro um i couldn't use hair i couldn't give them like little ears so i ended up using their hair silhouettes as inspiration for their horns and their uh, their spines i also wanted to incorporate their cutie marks into the little uh, bits at the end of their tails so i used i used those shapes there Okay, so bear with me. So in the Legend of Spyro trilogy, Spyro is the chosen purple dragon. There is only one purple dragon every hundred years or something crazy like that. Um, so Twilight in this AU would be the purple dragon for <laughs> uh, pretty straightforward reasons. Like she's also just like, ah, oh, I'm the special one in like the pony series. So it was like, okay, perfect. I imagined that Rarity would be an ice dragon. Uh, I, I was like, maybe she's an earth dragon, but I felt that would fit Applejack better just because she's got like strength. Um, not to say that Rarity's weak or anything, but her colors just look more like an ice dragon. So I went with that. Rainbow Dash would be lightning. Um, this is just cause, you know, fast. Wow. She also has a lot of lightning and lightning symbols in her design. So I was like, perfect. Uh, I think Pinky would be fire just because I can't think of what else would suit her and also we need a fire dragon because otherwise what's the point? What's the damn point? And then for Fluttershy at first I was like, oh yeah, she's a wind dragon. Then I thought about it for a second and I remembered that Cinder has a special ability in the last game where she can, she's got like a fear element where she just screams really loud I guess. Um, it looks cool. I love that. Um, and I thought because uh, Fluttershy's got the stare. Uh, she would make a great fear dragon. So I was like, perfect, perfect. So now here's the rest of the process.
special thank you to my $10 patron, Lady Leticia, and my $5 patron, Mistress Mercury. Appreciate you guys. If you'd like your name read out at the end of my videos, please consider checking out my Patreon linked below. And again, all of these designs will be keychains in my store, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay, bye!